Hello everyone, hello their organizer, hello scientific community. So I'm so happy to contribute in this beautiful event that in University of California, Los Angeles from Morocco. As we know that the COVID-19 doesn't allow us to move to USA to assist to this beautiful event, but we're going to contribute and online mode is good also so first of all i would like to thank american association for advance in functional materials for organizing this beautiful events so today we're going to begin our work named synthesize and characterization of hydroxyapatite reinforced ketose and composite hydrogel for bone tissue regeneration done in university of hassan de casablanca morocco in biomolecules and organic synthesized laboratory so the plan of our work is an introduction then an experimental details and results and discussion and conclusion of our work so the normal human body has about 200 bones which are needed for a variety of function within the body there are many function which bones are in the body function one is support so the bone is provided support structure more and the hardest and the most rigid structure in our body bones are strong but light which give the body support and shape without weighing it down so function two protection so the nervous system is the most important in our body so because the nervous system control the rest of our body and is very fragile so the bones can protect the system such as skull and backbone so function three is movement so the skeletal system also closely interacts with the muscle system in our body so muscles are necessary to attach it to in order to contract and cause motion so the last one is blood cell production so the bone are also important as a center of the production of blood cells the inside of bone is filed with a gel like material it's called the bone marrow which which is where red blood cells are made so the bone structures consists of compact bone and spongy bone where inside contain a bone marrow so the compact bone is very dense in the outside inside is the spongy bone which is high porosity so the composition of bone are inorganic and collagen fiber so the mass of inorganic is calcium phosphate that contain approximately 60 to 70 percent as bone mineral so the bone mineral is hydroxyapatite which is one of calcium phosphate phase so from my work chicken eggshell has been used in the hydroxyapatite synthesized as the calcium source so the chicken eggshell consists of two main parts the inside of shell so the inside of is cell membrane which is contain collagen and other so this part of shell will be removed before use so the outside part of shell is which are the must of calcium compound is contain approximately 95 percent so the calcium compound is calcium carbonate fares about 94 percent so the chicken eggshell is full of calcium and can be used for hydroxyapatite synthesizing so hydroxyapatite is the inorganic mineral found in bone and thith so it has a high biocompatibility and bioactive it can use in several applications such alveolar alveolar ridge augmentation maxillofacial reconstruction orbital implants spin fusion repair of bone defects so the most of application of hydroxyapatite relate to the 
bioactive properties of it. So, according to previous research, hydroxyapatite can be synthesized by several methods. For example, solid state methods is very simple methods that it is the reaction of calcium group powder with phosphate group powder in the furnace or ball mining machine. So this method can be can produce the hydroxyapatite powder easily, but the particle will be large and lack of purity. So the salt gel method and the salt gel method and the the soldier is the must method to synthesize hydroxyapatite. So this method produces dense hydroxyapatite, and so dense hydroxyap in small particles. But the disadvantages of this method are the high cost of precursor and low throughput. And the last interesting method is the precipitation. This method is similar to the soil gel method, but this method is unnecessary the formation of gel. So the time of synthesize may be shorter and the hydroxyapatite powder are formed into solid and precipitation in the solution. In addition, the condition of synthesizing can be easily to control and by product are easy to remove. So in our work, we're going to use the wet chemical method. So, this is a figure explain how we synthesize a biocomposite from hydroxyapatite and ketazine film. So, the hydroxyapatite was extracted from axial waste, and ketazine was extracted from crustacean. And the DDA of the kitchen was about 90 degree, 90 percent. So this is a schematic diagram of the synthesized hydroxyapatite from eggshell waste and ketosan composites. So hydroxyapatite and ketosan composite was characterized using FTER and scanning electron microscopy and also XRD. So this is a Fourier transform infrared spectra of hydroxyapatite and ketosan composites. So as we see in the FTER here in the purple is the pure hydroxyapatite and a different amount of hydroxyapatite in ketosan film. So the pure hydroxyapatite shows a significant peak in the region of 1000. It relates to phosphate group. So here we see that the intensity and sharp of the peaks increase when we increase the amount of hydroxyapatite. So that is confirms that the hydroxyapatite was successfully add to the ketosan. So this peak of this band, significant bands is related to amide and methylene of the ketosan. And the last one is pure ketosan. So this is the thermogravimetric analyze and DHC of hydroxyapatite and ketosan by a composite of hydroxyapatite and ketosan film. So as we see here, a significant weight loss in the region of 100 or 120 is related to the degradation or is not a degradation as is the deposit of water and here a significant weight loss is it's mean the degradation of the polymers so the polymer was degraded in the region and this was confirmed by the DAC so here we see the melting point of the polymer and 
and at this temperature we see the degradation of the polymers so the degradation of all the samples which mean 10%, 20%, and 30% of hydroxyapatite and ketazine. So the hydroxyapatite, we can conclude that reinforce the thermal stability of the polymers. So let's go in to talk about the morphological structure of the surface. So to confirm this analyze, we use this kind of electron microscopy of hydroxyapatite and ketazine film. This image A as the ketazine is the is of the pure ketazine as we see here the roughness and we see the morphology of the surface. We see some changes in the surface of ketazine that's because the adding of 10% of hydroxypatite on the surface and image C contains 20% of hydroxypatite on the ketazine and image D contains 30% of hydroxyapatite and the surface or sorry on the surface of ketazine. So we can say that the morphological properties of the composites present an irregular size of the synthesized hydroxyapatite on the surface of the ketazine matrix. So we can say that the distribution of hydroxyapatite was non-uniform on the surface of the ketazine. So as a conclusion of this all work we can we can say that the hydroxyapatite can be synthesized from eggshell waste by reaction of calcium hydroxide and phosphoric acid using weight chemical method and we can also use some other method that I mentioned before. So the composite present good thermal resistance compared to the pricing ketazine film and that was confirmed by the DEC and TGA analysis. So, and the last thing that we have so together is the roughness of the surface in fields of the cell cytotoxicity test. So, this test has been done but are not published yet. So, we can say that the change of the morphology of the surface can contribute to to the cell toxicity or to the influence on the biological part of the biocomposite. So with the addition of hydroxypatite in the ketazine film, the roughness increase, and we're going to talk about the acid conductivity and acid inductivity in other work. So thank you so much for this beautiful event, and thank you for giving me this opportunity this year to contribute and to be here with this beautiful scientific and thank you so much. I'm Ayo Gruli from Morocco and from the University of Hassan II Casablanca and thank you so much their organizer and see you next year inshallah.